Hey guys, Zolard here, back with another review, and today we're having a look at the DC Universe Classics Wave 15 figure number... I uh, lost track. Today we're having a look at OMAC. Here's his uh, collector button. It's just an eye. Whoopty freaking do. Yeah. Pretty boring. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, but eh, this is kind of a bland figure. Besides the fact that he came with the right arm to Validus, um, yeah, I believe it was that one anyway. Uh, yeah, he's kind of the he's the weakest figure of the wave, I'll say. Him and the Starman, I guess. You know, they're just not much going for him. But we'll have a look see at him. Uh, d his hair feels like an Oreo cookie, starting off. Best thing about the figure is probably this little eye on his chest. It's gonna scratch there too. Eh. But um, yeah, not much going on for this guy. He's got big bushy eyebrows. I don't even know what the heck this guy's deal is. I remember seeing him on Batman: The Brave and the Bold for one episode. <laughs> I don't even remember him in Justice League. Maybe I didn't see that one, but yeah, he's kind of meh. Articulation, uh, he's got the standard DCUC articulation. Uh, he's a standard figure, of course. He's got the swivel in the head, a little bit of up and down, pretty decent up and down. Swivels there. He's got an ab crunch, moves forward, back, or that much, back that much. I don't get the collar, but okay, it looks cool, I guess. He's got a swivel in the shoulder, in, in the shoulder as well. Really stiff shoulder joints, don't want to break off the bicep. Pretty loose bicep swivel, hinge in the elbow, swivel in the wrists. That's that. Same goes for the other side. He's got a swivel in the waist. Standard DCUC hip joints. This one took me a little bit to crack, but it finally cracked. Um, he's got that. And then looks like he has a thigh cut, but it doesn't want to move, so that's a that's gonna decrease his rating. Um, that's gonna cause his rating to drop. Was it already sort of low already? He's got a hinge in the knee and a hinge in the foot, which works pretty good. So, aside from the hands, the feet, the little neck thing, and I guess the belts and the head, it's completely old stuff. Well, I guess maybe even the feet and the hands are reused, They're just in a different color. So, OMAC probably is the weakest of the wave, just because I don't know who the heck he is and I don't really care. So, yeah, weakest of the wave by far. I got him mostly for the Validus piece. He's a shelf warmer. Still is. They have two of them at Toys R Us. It's the only classics figures I have. But uh, doing a comparison between him and Starman. Uh, here we go. It was a little bit more interesting. <laughs> You can see he's pretty much in scale, to scale. So yeah, OMAC, uh, I'd say if you want to build a figure, or collect and connect, sorry, uh, piece, pick him up. If you don't, I'd say pass. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of this guy. I know it's not the longest one, but there's not much to talk about. He's kind of boring, so... Yeah, he's more or less one of those random guys. He's like wave 12 all over again. So <laughs> I guess that, that if that's the way you want to put it, there you go. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. And until next time, see you guys later. I didn't hit the button that time. Ah, yeah, I'm just trying to drag this out. So yeah, see you guys later.